When it comes to arrangement, creating transitional effects between one section of the track and the other, it's a key element to drive the energy and to keep the track interesting. Unfortunately, this is the part of making music that bores me the most, and based on what I see from my students, I'm not the only one. But with the tool that I'm showing you today, creating transitions becomes easier, funnier and more original. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Francesco. I make house music as distilled noise. And on this channel, I make music related videos. Today's sponsor of the video is the Minimal Improvements community, which is my community over Patreon. So I just want to tell you that this month we have a guest masterclass by Mihai Pol. Mihai Pol is a well-known Romanian artist who's been bringing his music around the world for, I guess, the last five years. And now for the first time, he's sharing his music production secrets for the Minimal Improvements community members. So if you want to learn from him, join us through the link in the description. Right, so the plugin I'm going to show you is Transit by Baby Audio. It's uh, made in collaboration with Andrew Huang, a famous YouTuber. I'm sure most of you know about him. So here's how the effect appears. You can see there are two main sections. The effects section, which is made of seven slots to which you can assign the different effects that are included in this list. And the transition control, which is this big knob that you use to modulate all of these effects at once to create the transition. If I push this up, you can see some of the effects, not, not all of them. It depends on which one you want to modulate. Uh, you can see there is this black dot that moves and it moves in the limit that you select with this, um, let's say, highlighted area. If you want to assign a modulation to some other parameters, you just uh, press on this yellow dot and see it says motion on. So the moment you start moving it, you see the black dot moves in the red range that you predefined. So it's very simple to use. You just have to select the effects that you want. You define which parameters you want to modulate with the transition control and you decide what is the range of that modulation. I'm not a big plugin tweaker, so I'm not the one that likes to create presets from scratch. Usually I start from a preset that I like and then if I need to switch things on or off or to change the amount of modulation, I do it. If you want to see very in depth how to program this plugin, you should refer to Andrew Huang's uh, tutorial on how to use his own plugin. He designed it so it's surely better than me. What I want to do in this video is just give my take and specifically show you the importance of uh, transitions and how easily you can create them with this plugin. So I want to show you some example on this track that I did for March project on Patreon. The first listen that we have is on the passage between the drop to the break of the track and I deactivated all of the transitional effects. I want you to notice how flat the arrangement looks like in, the way, in this way. Later, we will switch on all of the automation and the transitions and we will listen again and see what's the difference and how these transitions contribute to the quality of the arrangement. <music> That's it. Specifically this part, right before the break, nothing is happening pretty much, just this little snare roll. Okay, let's now switch on all of the automation and let's check again. Okay, so there's much more impact. The same thing you can notice if we do the same here just before the drop. And with the transitions. So it's a slight difference, but not so slight, because when you listen to the track, you feel something rising, you prepare 
for the drop that is coming and when it's come it comes it, you have this crush you have these effects and all of them helps to achieve a nicer result and to create more excitement so the transitions here are made uh, in two ways let's say the first way is by creating feels with the drums so as you can see i have the kick here that do uh, feel same for the snare okay and then we have risers and other effects so specifically on the risers i've used transit to achieve a nice result so this is a pad and see how it works and this is made with transit if i switch off transit this is just like this so what i did with transit is using this little preset called transition greedy delays i did the modulation since the beginning of the sound because the effect added much more to the sound itself and so i liked it you can hear that it's wider has some delay it grows up and then it creates this nice tail so this is the first uh, thing as you can see here there is a lot there are a lot of parameters that are modulating you have the big crusher that you can clearly hear it when it comes up you have delay you have chorus the sound gets wider so it's a very nice one then i freezed it and i also used it i used the tail to create some sort of backgrounds in this second channel here this is simply something that I have in the background and it's very very in the background another section is my effects section where I created all of the crushes and risers these sounds are made with the transit this actually I froze it and flattened it so you can't see what happened but you can feel a filter modulation same here let's check this without any transit on it and with transit uh, i think it changes a little bit so we have a little bit of effect on it it's actually very simple in this case it just add a little bit of delay and what else let's have a look so filtering chorus flanger actually it's a lot of stuff but the different in the end is not a lot but Consider that if I had to create this uh, using single effects, I would have to put a delay, I would have to put a reverb, I would have to put chorus, flanger and automate every single of them. This is so time consuming and that's why it gets so boring unless you are a very enthusiast about sound design and effects creation. This with just one knob and some tweaks if you want on the presets, it create the full effect. There is one other effect that is very similar to this and it's Tantra. I made a video, I'll post it here, where I also talk about transitions and effects with Tantra. And this is just another tool that you can use if you want. Another interesting one that I created, and I think this is the last one, is this snare uh, reverse thing. So what I did was uh, resampling the snare that I have here reversing it and then apply transit and some delay so let's check without transit and delay simply reverse the snare okay which helps a little bit but it was a little bit too intense so i wanted to uh, how can i say washed it away a little bit and that's it so here i have a little bit of automation again so without transit, very simple. But even with transit, I, I start, you know, the automation starts here, but as soon as I get the first snare, it's already a little bit, there's already a little bit of something. And it gets very extreme. It's a little bit in the background, this snare effect, but I like it because you can feel it's there, but it's not too intense. And I think I've used it also to create some smaller transitions, like here. 
which is very nice. And also this is very nice because the first one... Okay, here I have the effect here. It's all the way down, but I have still the delay, so... I like the first one to be rough. So it gets into the real snare very nicely. Okay, very, very nice. Then it's pretty much the same everywhere. I just try to you repeat them, at least that's how I operate. Uh, here. You can feel the tail of the effect. It comes up again and then it goes away. Here's another one. So pretty much every event that happens in my track, I want to mark it with a transition. And guys, I hate making transitions, but this plugin helped me a lot. So you can find it on Plugin Boutique, you can find it on Baby Audio. If you buy it through Plugin Boutique, I have an affiliated link and this will help me to support the channel. I hope you like this video and give you some inspiration. It was a very quick one, nothing too much in depth. But yeah, that's uh, my YouTube channel and it's just for fun. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.